The city of Cleveland's deep digital divide is being tested as Cleveland Metro schools plan to start off the school year virtually. The district and the city are now working overtime to try to make sure everybody has access. But our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis learned it may be too little too late. Joe. Well, Rob, uh, this plan uh, won't be in place before the beginning of the school year. Still, it is a start for sure. The latest study shows about 12,000 Cleveland school households do not have Internet connectivity. And some community leaders in those neighborhoods are extremely concerned about it. We also would like to ask one question. What took you so long? Anita Gardner, president with the Concerned Citizens Community Council, which services the Mount Pleasant and Kinsman neighborhoods and more, applauds Cleveland leaders in working on a plan to bridge the digital divide. But Gardner wants to know why it took a pandemic and forced remote learning to finally get the ball rolling. How long have we known that there has been hardly any internet in the poor neighborhoods? How long have we known this? And now everybody's scrambling because there's a problem. If this was a problem before coronavirus, it's a crisis now. Cleveland Council President Kevin Kelly says the city is working with Cleveland Schools, the Cleveland Foundation, and city nonprofit group Digital C, which will tap into federal CARES Act money to install the technology needed in neighborhoods they say cable and internet companies have largely ignored for two decades. We have to understand this is a community-wide problem. It's something that we should not tolerate. It's not something that we should be okay with. We can make sure kids get hotspots. Um, kids get technology, even if it's uh, repurposed technology and used technology that gets rebuilt. Councilman Tony Brancatelli says the plan will include getting computer equipment and training to low-income families and utilizing existing city infrastructure, including tall buildings and Cleveland public power. Being able to use CPP and using our existing pole structure um, to put the repeaters, to put the technology so that we can get enough strength into the homes. And Rob, the Cleveland School is also working on a plan to provide Internet service to those 12,000 families who still don't have it. Digital C will provide paid Internet service to about 1,000 of those households. The district will then be working very hard to provide hotspots to the reigning households in those neighborhoods. Uh, Joe, you've already said this plan will not be ready for the start of the school year. So what is the timetable for getting this Internet access plan up and running? Well, Rob, the Finance Committee is hoping to have this plan prepared for viewing sometime in the next four to six weeks. They'll then implement it in some target areas like Cleveland's Fairfax and Glenville neighborhoods. So this can't happen, Rob, fast enough.